It's DDD. Hey, anytime I get to see some DDD gameplay, it's a good day. That's true. He's an underrepresented character. Out here in America he is, but in Japan he's strong. Mm -hmm. And that's why he got nerfed. Because in Japan he was doing really well, man. That's true because of Zaki. Yeah. But right now, this is Zaki, this is frantic. He could probably bring in his own style into this game. The issue here is obviously he's combo bait. He can get shark up there for days. But he does have some of his own weapons to kind of, you know, battle. Woo! Great. Great. Forget what I was saying. That was. Gonna spit it back. Here you go. Yeah, the problem with this match is that Fox has a really easy time racking up damage against him yeah. because of how big he is. Yep. And how easy Fox can juggle him, and that's what DDD has a hard time doing is landing. But if he's able to survive long enough, he can abuse the rage and kill Fox early. Exactly. Which is an advantage that he has in this matchup. And he needs to be careful the way he's using the gorgeous because they can easily get hit back. This yeah. Fox is so fast. He has a reflector, and so he reflect. can just send it back. Exactly. So the way how I see Frantic doing this is that he has to be a lot more like bait and punish. He has to like bait the fox to come in, attack, mm -hmm. and then he punishes him afterwards. And he can use the Gordos as a neutral because obviously look at Reflect, you want to use it to, to uh, when, when, when you're trying to edge guard. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, that was a good nair and an upper con up smash confirm, my bad. See, so you can set up when he gets up. Yeah. Hold the smash. See, if you, if you would have held force smash, you would have broken the shield. That's true. But he was probably just more afraid of the fact that he probably would have gotten up and like shined or something yeah. to reflect the Gordo back at him. Like even when it comes to ledge trapping Fox in this matchup, it's still kind of risky as DDD because of the reflector. You know what? I I, I, I dabble here and there with, with DDD pretty often to kind of know what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. And I play against Chaotic D and Nova's Fox and usually when you use... Well, he, oh, I was to say... It was, it was Ooh, that was an uh, interesting recovery. Yeah. Usually when, you, when I use the Gordos, I, I like to use it when they're recovering or set up ledge. And then just, they're so afraid of the Gordo, if you do the, the, the slow rolling one, mm -hmm. that they want to roll. Yeah. Because right? they don't want to jump and they don't want to stay there. So they'll roll and, and up smash and get it done. Yeah, so that we can have punishment for it. But right now, Chaotic is kind of doing a good job trying to like not let Frantic use his Gordo, set yeah. up any pressure, any ledge traps. And Frantic's not really like, you know, finding ways of get, scoring the stock. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and really he, good he, nair. The hip, yeah, yeah, go ahead. That was a really good nair up smash. He jumped over the Gordo knowing he was going to do that and then punished him for it. Yeah. Because Frantic has that habit of doing that in neutral a lot. So well, well that's what I'm saying. It, in this matchup, you can't use Gordo yeah. in neutral. Because he's just so fast, you can jump over it. He can do a lot of things to counter it. And you're going to get punished. Because as soon as he has you in the air, you're going to get string. Yeah. That's the hard part about this matchup. So he's going to Battlefield. Probably banking on the fact that he'll probably survive longer and maybe yeah. abuse rage. What he needs to do is, is try to use more of DDD's up tilt. Uh, he can, oh, okay, Bowser. another big? Okay. I don't know much about Bowser. Battlefield's Bowser's best stage because of the Bowser bomb. He can kill Fox stupid early. Mm. Insanely early if he gets him on the top platform or on the side platform. Damn, what to see. And since it's also like the biggest stage, he can like, you know, survive longer and since Bowser's wake up up. Yeah. He can just kind of afford to take more hits. Okay, not hits like this. <laughs> but you know, you can afford to take a lot more hits, make a few more mistakes, survive a lot longer and kill Fox earlier. But if you're taking hits like this, it's not a good no look. Yeah. Okay, on the board. But this is also kind of like a double-edged sword because this is also Fox's really good stage. Because mm. he can also like, you know, trap you with his up air, uh, yeah. up tilt, nares, and like you just send you to the ledge or just juggle you. It's not a fun time. So I'm curious to see how Frantic will do against this. Oh, another he's not up taking smash. those. Yeah. You need to take those against Fox. You need to get on your P's and Q's with those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this stage, Battlefield, is a good stage for, for, for both characters, right? But in the matchup, I honestly still feel like it favors Fox just because he's able to intercept anything that Bowser's trying to get going. That's true. But, like, it also kind of forces a Fox to play the matchup a lot more perfect because if he messes up, he can't afford to make as many mistakes as Bowser can. Right. Yeah, he'll pay for, for, for the, for the stop. Mm -hmm. Right yeah. now, Bowser Bomb, top platform. Not dead yet, but he wow. was close, and he yeah. was at 80%. Keep that in mind. That's actually terrifying yeah. if you're Fox and you make a small mistake like that. Oof. An up smash to catch his landing. Okay. Wow, up smash? Okay, that's how we get it done. Forward smash? Oh my god, it's 28. Jesus. Yeah, he hits hard though. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Steven, this is even. 
Uh, he messed up a confirm. Oh, never mind. He followed up with a tech chase. Yeah. Good patience waiting for the Bowser bomb. That's a landing option that Bowser, that Bowser has. Yeah. Just wait it out and punish it. Mm -hmm. I think that's something you should, you, a lot of players don't do, but the good players do, right? You wait out. Sometimes it's not about throwing out, you know, a move. It's, it's waiting to see what your opponent is going to do. Yeah, it's like you being in the position where they think you might up air, that's what scares them the most because they don't know if you're going to throw it out or not. Right. Oh, so, ooh. Damn, let's see. You got to mash that up, B. 